Hey guys, today we're out in my garage and, um, sorry if you can't hear me very well, our water softener is on and the heater is on right now. We're out in my garage and, um, we're going to be installing a new L-Series horn stove out here. Um, I forgot to film the first half, but basically our mechanical room's on the other side of the wall here, so I mounted up a, uh, standard square back box, ran some FPLR. Um, this is a plywood wall, this is our garage, um, that normally has drywall over it. Um, and then here on the other side of the wall, as you can see there's where the cable pops through and it goes up to the attic. Alright, so now we're up in the attic, as you can hear it's a lot quieter up here. Um, right here we're above the garage. There's some fire alarm stuff right there that's in use right now. Oh, um, there's some more fire alarm right there. So you're going to see what all this stuff does in the system test one. So junction boxes. This is kind of our one of our electrical panels, our garage electrical panels, like right there. So there's a lot of stuff, like the main part of the house. And there's another electrical panel in there. So that's why there's a lot of cabling going here. But as you can see, there's one fire alarm wire. It goes down right down where the panel is right there and that's going into the wall and then out the wall where the panel is in the garage and that's for that horn store we just installed but if you see where it goes it goes back there's a little bit extra so when we insulate there's going to be some extra and then it goes down back into the that's the mechanical room back there so it goes back um, into that smoke detector head and it made it look messy I'm just leaving some extra so we can staple it and insulate and everything Yes, yeah, so this is up in the attic. I just wanted to show you guys. Now, I'm not going to be showing you the stuff that's down there and over there because that's a surprise for you, System Test 1. But as you can see, the cable comes down through a hole in this back box. Here's obviously a smoke detector up on the ceiling. Uh, it comes in through the attic up there and then it comes through the back box. And then here we have a remote power supply that's going to be connected to. Um, this is my garage power supply, so it makes sense to connect to it. And we have a conduit. Not to show you anything. Conduit going up all the way to advance and going off to something else and then to here. Alright, we're back out in the garage. Sorry again about the noise. This is our water softener cleaning itself. So as you can see here's the wire. I left a little bit more of a service loop than I had to, um, just in case we need to like have some sack up in the attic or anything. It's good to have some extra. Uh, here is the alarm I'm going to be installing, the fire extinguisher. Uh, here's the alarm I'm going to be installing. This is the red um, L-Series device. This is the wider two, wider one. So I can't actually remember which one's meant for a service mount or not, but I, it might be this one. We'll go ahead and pull that cardboard out. As you can see, here's the alarm. Pretty, I've unboxed this one before, just haven't used it yet. Uh, here it is, corn strobe, and it's on the mounting bracket. So the first thing you have to do is take this off the off its mounting bracket and install the mounting bracket.
they only have to do this on the uh, last device on the circuit. Alright, so here's the finished um, back box. As you can see, the resistor is right there. Um, here's the cable, nice service loop inside the back. Um, this is nice and mounted securely. Now before we put the alarm on, I'm going to go inside and um, terminate the wires inside. Alright, so now we're back in the mechanical room. We can go ahead and open up the remote power supply here. Um, here are the wires. So now since there's a resistor on the other end, we have to go ahead and pull out this resistor. Now, the system is in trouble. Silver part on the left side of these screw terminals, which normally your wires, if you only have one set of wires going to the screw terminals, it normally goes on the right. Now even once we connect these, the uh, panel is not going to go back to normal because, or the NAC panel here is not going to go back to normal uh, because our device is still missing. Set the, the uh, rotary switch on the back here. I'm going to be setting it to temporal 3 low frequency. And now we can simply snap the alarm onto the base. And now the trouble is gone from the system. Okay, this is the end of this video. I um, hope you enjoyed. Uh, make sure you watch out for new system test 1, which you're going to be seeing the entire system. Thanks for watching and make sure you like and subscribe.